Darlene. Welcome to my kitchen. And this is for What's Up Wednesday. What up? And what I'm doing today is cutting board recipes, but I'm not doing any one particular recipe. What I'm going to do is tell you about this recipe book that I have had, and I'll show it right here too. I've had this for about 16 years, and I have never used it. It is called the perfect recipe for losing weight and eating great. And it is by Pam Anderson, not Pamela Anderson, Pam Anderson. Uh, and I said it was uh, produced and put out in 2008, and that was when I bought it because I was wanting to eat healthier and fix healthier foods for my mom. And we apologize for the spraying in the background, but Piggy's trying to clean something. Piggy uh, being Piggy. Yeah. But um, this recipe book, I'm just going to show y'all some of the pictures of the food in this. Um, I'm hoping y'all can see this. I mean, like I said, I don't know which recipes are which. I'm just showing you the pictures. You set it down on the table. I've got it angled where it should show it. Okay. Okay, it's got some nice got, looking. That's got it good without no glare. So. Yeah, these are some nice looking recipes. I mean, just the, the food itself. And. Uh, that shrimp. Uh, I don't know if that's shrimp or seared scallops. Either way, just, it looks like seafood. Yeah. That's good to me. Ooh, Soups pizza. and pizzas. Breakfast. They've got breakfast pizzas in here. we got salads. Uh, baked fish. It's all sorts of recipes, y'all. Y'all, she been holding out on me. Like I said, I have never used this cookbook. But I'm going to. That is one of the things I'm probably going to be doing this next year. I'm going to start using my cookbooks that I have had for years. Oh, boy. Piggy going to be good up in this neighborhood. Yeah, you know, and... Uh, I'm just saying, you know, this is some really good looking food here. Um, got one here for quick cream of tomato soup. Um, then there's one right here. It says uh, meal in a bowl soup, and it's got the recipe. And this is like chicken soup with lima beans and corn. I don't like lima beans, y'all, so it's not going to be a big thing for me to do. Um, Brazilian ham and... Black bean soup. That sounds good. Sorry, kitty cat trying to get over here on the counter, and I don't let her over here if I can help it. Mexican chicken and hominy Girlfriend, for black bean soup. Time you've done that. Um, like I said, there's a lot of soup recipes in here. Uh, that looks good. That looks like cheesecake right there. Lemon cheesecake. That does look good. Yeah, I'm just saying. Um... And this right here gives you a list of pantry items you can stock up on for your pantry. You know, this is a really nice cookbook. I, I have to have a magnifying glass to be able to read most of it. Which means I'll probably be reading them all for. Yeah. Um, got a list of produce you might want to stock up on. Refrigerated produce. Uh, other refrigerated items. Uh, freezer items. You know, just helping you to stock your kitchen with things that you might need. Um, got recipes here um, smoothies, breakfast parfaits, granola, um, vanilla fruit smoothie. There's one in here for a chocolate smoothie. Uh, fruit parfait with yogurt and drizzled honey. You said this is by Pam Anderson. Yeah, the lady's name is Pam Anderson, and you not, can look. Not, not be confused with the Pamela Anderson. Right, you can see that's not Pamela the, Anderson. This is the just, tool time hottie. Right. Uh, this is a lady named Pam Anderson. Uh, she wrote the cookbook, and you know, just going through it, she has got a lot of great recipes in here. Like I said, I'm going to start making some of these uh, seared turkey burgers. You know, and. Yeah. Like I said, the meal and the bowl. And I saw back here somewhere there was uh, all these right here are soups, different types of soups. Ham and lentil soup with tomatoes and arugula. Uh, Moroccan lentil soup. That would be a good one. Too. I, I saw somebody do a Moroccan lentil soup uh, on one of the uh, collaborations I was in. So that 
sounds like it would be a good one. Mini whole wheat pumpkin muffins with orange drizzle. Now that actually sounds kind of interesting. It does. Uh, All-purpose slice and bake butter cookies. Chocolate coconut cookies. Though we won't be doing the chocolate coconut ones. Gingerbread straws. We'd do it with the almond bark. Uh, See how that would do. I can't believe they're not fried tortilla chips. I'm assuming that would be uh, baked or something. They have one in here for a microwave uh, poached egg. Hmm. Microwave boiled eggs. Microwave scrambled eggs. I saw the recipes in there earlier. Uh, Bar nuts a la Union Square Cafe. Pita crisp. Smoked salmon tartare. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that deviled uh, eggs for I'm two. Not too, I'm not too spivvy on tartare. Classic Texas caviar. Let's see. What else we got? Pizza. Pizza light for a busy night. Quick flatbread dough. Fresh tomato flatbread with arugula and prosciutto. Greek flatbread with spinach fed on, on olives. Curry chicken flatbread with chutney and yogurt drizzle. Yeah, I'm just, that's just some of Reuben flatbread. Creamy light pasta. Pasta with just right red sauce. Pan sauces. All different types of pan sauces, y'all. We have a white wine cream sauce with chives. We have a salsa verde cream sauce with cilantro. Mm -hmm. Mushroom thyme cream sauce. Mustard cream sauce with tarragon. I said all sorts of good things. Sear and sauce shrimp. Sear and sauce pork loin chops. Y'all see why it's so hard living with a fatty. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, all this they're, they're, they're all the time, you know, just out of interest and love of food. They're, they're going through finding all these delicious sounding things. You're sitting there listening, going, nom, nom. Here's one baked fish with oven sauteed tomatoes, basil, and garlic. <laughs> See, there she didn't even miss a beat right back into it. Baked fish with mushroom and thyme. I saw that one while I go and told Peggy, I was going to make that one. That sounds Which good. Which one? The baked fish with mushroom and thyme. Oh, okay, yeah. Baked fish with spinach and Asian drizzle. Mm. Mix and match foil packets. And I guess that's what you do is you uh, pick one, which would be the meat. Then you uh, pick a flavor in. And then you go on. It's got a whole list of things you can pick to put in your foil packet. Spiced up grilled boneless pork poultry or salmon. That sounds good. Spicy grilled shrimp. We like grilled shrimp. We love shrimp. Grilled swordfish or tuna steaks. I've never had tuna or swordfish. Well, tuna steaks. I've had the canned tuna, y'all. We've had the canned tuna. I ain't never had I no tuna steaks. I poke. I can't afford the tuna steaks. I ain't never had no tuna steak. Certainly ain't had no shark steak. Create, create your own fruit salsa. That would be interesting. Uh, grilled vegetables. Roasted buttered Brussels sprouts with Dijon and lemon. Now that sounds good. That sounds real good. I mean, I'm just looking at some of these and roasted spring vegetables, roasted summer vegetables. Oh, they got desserts too. Oh, Lord, here we go. Um, let's see what we got for dessert, shall Perfect berry sauce with sour cream mounds or angel food cake. We'd have to do the angel food cake. We like angel food cake. We do. Uh, peach melba. Oh, man. I didn't realize I had a recipe for peach melba. What is peach melba? Uh, well, according to this, it's four cup of peach schnapps, four large peaches, uh, Unpeeled, halved, and pitted. Perfect berry sauce. It gives the page number it's on. Made with raspberries. And a half cup of toasted slivered almonds. And it tells you how to make it. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Mango fruit salad with mint and honey lime dressing. 
light orange panna cotta with fresh raspberries. Got a double chocolate pudding. I won't be making that one. Raspberries. Yeah, it's uh. <laughs> We don't need the chocolate pudding. I got one for vanilla pudding. I know how to make vanilla pudding. Uh, creamy cheesecake. I know how to make cheesecake. But yeah, this is my recipe book that I bought called The Perfect Recipe for Losing Weight and Eating Great by Pam Anderson, uh, circa 2008. Again, I've had this thing for 16 years. I have never used it to make a recipe. Or cook anything out of it but uh, this one and one that I've got that's got my Mexican recipes in it and then I've got another one that is uh, a church social cookbook that is bigger and, and a little bit thicker uh, I'm gonna be using that next year that's what I'm gonna be doing is working out of my cookbooks I will not be doing any uh, of my signature dishes next year so I'm reading it went a little blurry. Oh, uh, so if this shows up blurry, folks, I don't know why. I'm blurry. Uh, but, yeah, I plan on using cookbooks next year. Just, you know, and I'll let you know where I get, get it from. And if I modify, and I will be modifying some recipes, because there's some things that I will not eat that are some recipes I've seen. So I uh, just want to share this with y'all and let y'all know about it. And uh, if y'all have recipe books that y'all have, have and have never used, pull them out and start using them, y'all. You never know what you might find in them recipe books. I found some good recipes right there. So, y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.